Hi, I am all tired, everybody. How is everybody doing out there? This is Elizabeth Ward, Ward Education, Ward Education Block 43. I'm going to tell you about the malfunction of my my key workstation Casio 300 and and I'll tell you about what I decide about the new Casio uh, workstation. I will tell you what this workstation is. I'll have you guess it. So I will see you on the next page. This is Eva Elizabeth Wood, Wood Education Blog 43, and welcome you to my channel. How is everybody out there on YouTube? Okay, how is everybody? Are you doing okay? Um, uh, whatever. Um, I, I'm going to have a different subject today. Um, it's going to be different. Um, um, it's going to be all about the Casio, uh, workstation <coughs> keyboard. Um, so I, t so you see under my video, it's titled Casio 3300 Malfunction, the new Casio 76 hundred on the way. Yeah. It's on its way, people. And I've been watching the 76, uh, 76 hundred on YouTube here. And it sounds similar to the one back of me. Which is the 3300 Casio workstation. Well, let me tell you what happened. I, it was Thursday, I think it was, I, I turned it on, I, I decided I wanted to play it because I was updating my computer, so I said to myself, while my computer is up being updated, I can play on my keyboard. I turned it on and I turned, I clicked on the cord, and I said to myself, where is the, the percussion? The percussion are drums, okay? They're drums and bells and stuff like that. And I said, hmm, well, that is not right. So I proceed to do some other things on the keyboard. And uh, I, find, I found out there's some other things on it that is malfunctioning. So, I played on it for a little bit, and then Friday afternoon, my aide came to clean my apartment, and uh, I decided, I told her about what happened to my, my, my 3300 workstation, and so I turned it on, and she, she heard that the percussion wasn't playing. I said, that's what is happening. The percussion is not working. So she comes over and she just stands there and stares at the, at the keyboard, which is behind me. Here we go. Because I got my computer key, keyboard. I'm going to put it over here. And I, I, um, <laughs> I, she's standing there, and then she was thinking, okay, she said, I'm plug the back of it, and then plug it back in, and then see if you get your drums back. Well, 
she did it. She unplugged it and plugged it back in. And sure enough, I got my drums back. And then there were some few things on here. I was going to play uh, Over the Hilltop for her. And I had it on country music. Country. And when I got to the country uh, rhythm, <laughs> the rhythm was so low. I mean, the, the, it was so low. I had to, I had to transfer it up farther, harder, harder. Somehow it went to the lowest that it can go. So I got it up there to where I want it, and then I went over to the tone, and I um, clicked in the the tone on the pad, on the numeric pad, on the right side of the board. I got my hat. Well, oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> and then when I went to play over the hilltop, guess what happened? It reset itself back to default, which is the grand piano. Okay, wait a minute. I had it set on the violin. I said to I said to her, "What's going on here?" Oh my gosh! <laughs> Talking about malfunctioning keyboard, boy, that one. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I had it over fifteen years, <laughs> and it traveled. It went to church, it went to the church picnic, and my my organist played on it so we could have our church service outside while we're having our church service. And, well, my aide said, well, it's time for you to get another keyboard. You like playing it, you'll miss it if you don't have one. Well, uh, for two days, I've been searching on Amazon for a keyboard. I keep going through all different keyboards um, on Amazon. I can't, you know, I had a hard time deciding what to get. But one thing that keeps me coming back to is the 76 key workstation, Casio workstation. So, I wanted to know what it sounded like, how it played. So I come here to YouTube and I was playing the videos of the video creator playing on the 7600 workstation, Castrio workstation. I said, hey, that's pretty good, I like that. Well, you know, the Castrio company, they don't, I mean, they're, they're they're very slow in creating new keyboards that do different things. And uh, I just happened to come across um, uh, two keyboards. Because it's, it's, it's mainly one. It's Casio MZ-300, Casio MZ-500. So I play those videos here on YouTube, and it's almost, I think it's almost like Tyros 5, which I've been wanting for a long, long time. So, and I said, well, it's going to be pricey. I'll bet you anything I won't be able to afford to get that, to, M, to MG-500. So I... So I went on the Casio website, and uh, I saw the MZ500-500, and guess what they want for it? $1,099. I said to myself, no, I can't afford that. So, um, so I, um, had three choices. There was three other, there was three keyboards. Three, okay, there was a 6600 
hundred, there was a forty-five hundred, and there was a seventy-six. I keep going back and forth. I I read each one of them, what they have on the on their on those keyboards. Then I keep coming back to seventy-six, and for some reason or other, I came back to seventy-six. So that was a Friday. So Saturday morning, I was going through the keyboards again. I keep coming back to seventy-six. That means seventy-six keys on the keyboard. And Casio 3300 workstation has 76 keys. And, um, and I said, okay, I can afford to get this one. So, for $449, I ordered it from Amazon through Casio website. And it's coming the 25th, which is Thursday. Let's see. Yeah, it will be Thursday. It's coming Thursday. I'll have it here Thursday. And maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It depends. But I just got notification from Amazon on my email telling me that it won't be, be delivered until the 25th, which is Thursday, which I am looking forward to. And this one here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this keyboard here. I'm just going to have it taken down. I'm huh? going to have my egg, you know, take it, because that's a heavy thing. It's so awkward and heavy. I mean, that thing weighs like nobody's business so i i decided it's getting dark out there <laughs> so i decided to order it and it's it's on its way here of course it's um 33 dollars of tax on it so it went up to 482 dollars and 68 cents that's not bad that's not bad now i I'm not a musician, let's put, put it that way. But I love to, to play on it and create music in my mind. I play music randomly. And uh, I was going to do music, but that keyboard there sort of discouraged me from doing it. I said, well, I can't do it if, the, if, if that keyboard... It's going to malfunction. <laughs> so I, uh, so uh, I can play. I mean, the tone is okay. It plays pretty good. The rhythm, well, I have to adjust that because that keyboard just has the mind of its own. It want, it, it sets itself with. After I said it, I. I I was, I was pushing the plus button to, for the next tone to play on the keyboard. And all of a sudden, the, the, the light to the grand piano and the DSP, boom, off it went. I said, oops, the light went out. I had the key and I got nothing. So I hit the light, the, the grand piano, to, to get it back on. I hit the key and it's playing. Well, I can tell you about the bank down there. The first two banks is okay. I can, I can play that. It's on, it's on the memory. It's on the memory card, uh, embedded in the keyboard. It, it, the the first one was okay. The second one, it played okay. The third one. Nothing. <laughs> I pushed the and I said, I got nothing. I pushed the key and nothing but was playing. I went to the fourth bank. Nothing was playing. <laughs> oh, man. This, this keyboard is going out. 
And a brand new one is going to be for in its place. <laughs> I love to play this. I like to make up music in my mind and just keep on playing, ad living my my music I'm right on to the keyboard through my fingers. And I had the most fun doing it. Now, maybe someday I, I will decide to, you know, just play maybe one or two music on my video. Now, I already played Beer, Bar Beer Barrel Polka. I already played Over the Hilltop. And I think it's still on my channel. I'm not sure. I had to I had to look on my channel to see if I got it on there. If I haven't, then I would do it over again. I'll play over the hilltop. It will be it will be on my new keyboard, just I'll let you know that. And I uh, I listen to uh and watch the seventy six keyboard being played on the videos there. And uh, they they played the polkas, and I said, oh, there's the one polka that they played, you know, the chord part. I said, that is a good one for the beer barrel polka. The good rhythm. And I said, that's it right there. I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that. And then, uh, it's called a pop polka. And I think it's on, on this one, too. And... I, I will have a story to tell you once I get going on the new one. I had to familiarize my my new one in order to to play it here on YouTube and on my channel. So that's all I got to to tell you uh, on this video. Um, so um, I. I uh, 100 subscribes if for more videos upload hit that notification bell and 100 subscribes and 100 likes I will upload more videos like this one and then you can share it on social media or email to anybody you choose so, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you here on Good Education Block 43, Ever in Elizabeth Wood, the next time on YouTube and the World Wide Web. Yay!